Salutations, friends. It is your pal, said Stevie. And today, I'm going to be talking about a knife that has gone from the budget world to the more premium world. This is the Kube Ruckus, designed by our good pal, Sharif Manganas, a.k.a. the real Sharif. And I dig it. Uh, this is a knife that I picked up prior to knowing uh, Sharif personally. Uh, I got it based on my enjoyment of the uh, Kube Momentum that he designed. Love this knife. This was my budget knife of the year 2022. And... Uh, it's not something I was drawn to initially, but uh, last year I really started uh, picking up stuff that I wasn't typically uh, getting, mainly uh, blade shape wise. But I do uh, like this blade shape. I think it's a, a useful uh, blade shape. I've carried this knife a fair amount, I suppose. Uh, not a ton, but it uh, has definitely got a lot of pocket time. Uh, but this is uh, in the budget world. Uh, you can get these for like 55 bucks. Uh, plus, if you use your discount codes on White Mountain Knives, it brings it down to like 50 bucks. So, whether it's uh, Stevie 10 or KSTR 10 or TLR 10, uh, you save 10% uh, with free shipping on White Mountain Knives for these. But uh, this is Green Micarta and Aus 10 on the blade steel. Um, and as you can see, uh, I've had no problems with rusting or anything. Uh, with Austan, I know that's one of the things that people say can happen, but uh, it's held up just fine for me. I don't like the micarta uh, that uh, Kube uses. I've had dealt with their micarta before, and I'm just I'm not a fan of it. Uh, it's really slick, um, and it's just not real good in my opinion. Uh, the other thing with this knife, as much as I liked it, ergos wise and everything, um, you know, I like the uh, deep carry uh, pocket clip. Uh, I like that they use uh, flush uh, screws, even though it's not recessed into the scale. It's flush screws, so uh, that makes for uh, better carry uh, ability, in my opinion. Um, the backspacer. Uh, I like the fact that it, I like a full backspacer like this uh, that runs, you know, more than 50% uh, of the knife. However, uh, the, even though it's textured really nice, I don't like it. In, I believe it's listed as G10. And I just, I didn't like the looks of it. So as much as I like this knife, I wasn't a big fan on uh, Kubi's execution of it. And it comes in other flavors as well. You got blacked out options. Uh, you have uh, like a f uh, titanium bolster uh, version, you know, onlay version. Uh, this is a liner lock, by the way. But uh, yeah. So ergos are there. Action's good to go. It's riding on uh, ball bearings. Uh, as long as I've had this, it's not developed any blade play or anything, and it stayed completely center. Fine knife. So that's why I was really excited when Kubi announced a couple weeks ago that uh, they're re-releasing it in a premium option. So now you have all titanium uh, scales, titanium hardware, titanium backspacer, a titanium pocket clip and 20 CV on here. Now uh, they list the 20 CV as being uh, having an HRC of 59 to 61. I think that might be a little soft. So uh, edgy American, um, you know, start collecting your tears. Uh, Chinese company used an American steel that's not properly heat treated. So keep that in mind. Uh, but uh, these are listed uh, before discounts at 220 bucks, so it's a big jump. Uh, however, uh, for this variant specifically, the Flamed Anno, uh, you can use one of their codes. I believe it's, and I'll have all this linked. I think it's Kubi Ti50. Uh, that brought this down to 110 bucks, and for 110 bucks, I was on it. Uh, the they are listed at 220. Uh, the other uh, variants that they have, the, the the titanium scales that they have, and I forget which colorways they had. Uh, those are discounted to 176 bucks right now. 
Uh, and I believe Kube's website is the only place that they are listed. Uh, they're not on White Mountain Knives or any other dealers yet. So um, you can order them now and I'll, uh, you know, I'll put the link in or you can wait for them to come out on White Mountain Knives. But um, that is the only difference between the two of these, uh, the upgraded uh, materials. Uh, everything else, uh, spec for spec, is virtually the same. Uh, you jump up, so uh, this is 3.71 ounces. Uh, you do jump up uh, to 5.11 uh, ounces, obviously, because of the titanium. But uh, spec-wise, everything else is the same. You have an overall length of 8.03 inches, a handle length of 4.72 inch, and a blade length of 3.31 inch. And really... That is my, uh, kind of my perfect size for an EDC knife. Uh, the 4.71 inch handle, I'm able to get a full four on. Um, I like, uh, anywhere from a 3.3 to a 3.5 inch, uh, blade. Um, and it's, you know, a, the perfect size. Uh, ergos on this, Sharif does a good job at designing, uh, knives with good ergos, I gotta say. Um, and the way he's got the jimping uh, done here and the way Kube executed it, it locks into hand perfectly. And you got good control over this knife. And I have used this knife a fair amount uh, for stuff outside of just cutting boxes. I had this, um, and I actually just recently restropped this. I didn't sharpen it, but uh, I had... Um, I had done some uh, hot dogs or s'more sticks, uh, roasted marshmallows uh, with this. So not hard use by any means, but I did carve up some sticks uh, um, over the summertime with this uh, knife. Uh, but um, it doesn't have a spot to choke up into, but you do kind of got this flat here that if you want to ride up into, you can. Uh, and it is uh, good for uh, pinch grip to do some uh, fine tasks as well. I just think that this knife, uh, you know, it's a little bulbous on the uh, ass end there, but uh, n no hot spots whatsoever. You do feel the clip, but it's not a hot spot in my opinion at all. Uh, I think it's just the, the ergos are money. And the uh, access to the liner lock is done really well. Uh, they do, uh, the, the liner is jimped as well. And the action on this one is just as good as the one on th uh, this one. This one is broken a lot more. Uh, so, you know, you can see it's it's absolutely free fall shut. Uh, this one, you got a little bit more uh, control to it, but it's breaking in, and I've only had it for a couple days now. Uh, I actually unboxed this during uh, my live on this, this past uh, Friday on said Stevie Live, and did a giveaway for this one. So this one isn't sticking around in my collection. I don't need to. Uh, and since I knew I was going to keep this one, I uh, did a StreamYard giveaway. And uh, Pocket Stuff uh, won this. So I'll be sending this out to uh, Pocket Stuff here uh, shortly. But I do think that uh, if you liked the Ruckus to begin with, uh, but you had the same thoughts and opinions that I do that it's just not real executed materials wise uh, and you're looking for something more premium uh, to, to say to pay $220 for this I still think is a fairly good deal uh, but knowing that you got some discounts uh, from Kube directly I think that uh, this is definitely worth it and if you pick this one up for 110 bucks, it's definitely worth it Asterix coming. I have a little bit of gripe uh, about uh, this, and I'll go over that quickly. And that's simply the flamed anno, the tiger stripe anno, whatever they want to call this. I've had it before from uh, who? Uh, we. I had it on my uh, OG Malice. I have it on the. Uh, Todd Knife and Tool Roxy 4. It's just not a good user finish. Uh, it's going to start to snail trail on you. Um, you already uh, see just from me carrying it over the weekend, I got a couple of rub spots. You can see right there, along there, 
Um, it picks up snail trails. I can guarantee you it's going to start uh, snail trailing around the uh, pocket clip from going in and out of pocket. It will happen. And it's as pretty as this looks. I, I think it's a good looking finish. It's not a practical finish. Uh, if you care about that, um, it's going to get snail trails. And can you maybe clean that up a little bit? If you can, let me know how you do it because I've been unsuccessful at uh, doing so. Uh, so there's that. That's my gripe with it. But uh, I still I picked this up for 110 bucks, knowing I probably wasn't gonna like the uh, anno on it. Oh, also uh, with the addition of this being a titanium backspacer, I like the backs. It, it feels like a. It, I mean, obviously uh, titanium is gonna be better than G10, but I think it looks better um for sure in the titanium uh that was uh, again a big plus for me as well uh but yeah uh i might see if stella uh, could do something with this i don't know if uh, you can remove this by you know soaking it in something or buffing it off and uh redoing it but uh not my not my favorite finish but to get it for 110 bucks i was all about it so I do think that this is a knife that uh, going more premium uh, was was a smart move on their end. Um, and Sharif's, uh, a, a couple of his designs have done that before. Uh, or I guess this is his second design that's done that before. Uh, Kaiser uh, with the Graziasso uh, did that. Uh, this is the premium version. I've never had the budget version, but I handled it. Uh, so you can get that in G10 with different uh, bolstered colors as well. And I don't know the blade steel that they're using, but this is a more premium version. Titanium bolsters, uh, carbon fiber, 20 CV on this. Ooh, look at that mirror edge polish. Uh, that's from Clean Works Quality Sharpening. Kyle sharpens? Uh, but I think that this knife is definitely a better knife in a premium option. Uh, Kaiser did a great job on that. Uh, and then there are uh, some rumors that uh, maybe Kube is going to do something similar uh, with the momentum, uh, which I, I'd love to see uh, what they plan on doing with that, because uh, this is a fabulous knife as is. Uh, again, very budget, just, you know, black G10 uh, D2 on the blade steel. Uh, they have some OS 10 versions as well. Um, would love to see what they plan on doing uh, with that. Uh, and then, you know, you also have his Veloce from Kube. Uh, this is just a titanium uh, uh, knife, though. That This didn't come out in a budget. Uh, this is the V2 that had a couple different uh, finishes. Uh, and then this is an S90V as opposed to the uh, S35 on the previous version. So... Uh, Kubi's, uh, Kubi does a good job with their more premium knives, I gotta say. Uh, and then also, uh, they just, Kubi just released the Merced, uh, kind of the cousin to the, uh, Veloce, which is a more budget, uh, knife. That is a G10, uh, I don't know what they're using on the blade steel, maybe it's 14C, but very, very nice, uh, lineup from Sharif. And, of course, and I'll have that linked up here, his Kaimano that's coming out uh, that's OEM'd from uh, Kaiser. But that's his own branded knife, uh, Mangana Steel. That knife is fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. He just got the tracking, I think, for the V... Excuse me, uh, the V2 prototype. So you should start seeing that being passed around. But, yeah, uh, Sharif's killing it in the designs. And I know he's got so much in the hopper. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. May as well put my whistle uh, using my uh, said faction uh, tumbler. These are actually really good tumblers. Uh, they keep the ice uh, frozen all day long. Uh, and I even had this uh, coffee, uh, filled it up with coffee before I left the hotel Friday morning, drove all the way back for seven hours. Um, it was still hot when I got home. So uh, some hydro flasks, flasks are real cheap. Uh, and this one, uh, moderately priced. I think this is like 30 bucks or something. Uh, not bad. Um, by the way, I picked up some of this Dr. Pepper uh, Cherry uh, Zero Sugar. 
I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think I like regular Dr. Pepper better, but uh, these are available through Mattisfaction's Teespring, and uh, these are these exist because uh, the people wanted something uh, from said faction. So I'll also link uh, Maddie's Teespring store where you can pick up some uh, said faction stuff. But any hoodles, I digress. Uh, again, the Kube Ruckus. Bring the mother effing Ruckus. And Kube did. Uh, great job, Sharif, on this design, by the way. I've already told him that. And you guys have heard me talk about the Ruckus before. That's not the first time I've brought this up. But, uh, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you already have the Ruckus? Is it something that you're interested in? Um, getting the premium or the uh, budget version? If you have the budget, are you looking to upgrade? Uh, have you tried out uh, Sharif's other designs? What'd you think? Uh, are you interested in the Kim the Kaimano coming up? Let me know what y'all think. Uh, but that's all I got for you folks today. I appreciate you tuning in, as always. And uh, you can, of course, uh, subscribe right here if you haven't. And you can also check out that video and give that a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I suppose. And until the next one, I bid you mofos adieu. Whoop, whoop.